everyone, welcome back to Miss Ming's channel. This is Miss Ming, and my channel I do vlog videos, makeup videos, cooking videos, planning videos, cleaning videos, and everything I'm passionate about in my life. So the purpose of this channel is to promote happy, healthy, beautiful, positive lifestyle. So if this content interests you, make sure you ding 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 subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for notifications for future videos so that you don't miss out any content. Today I'm doing a very interesting topic. I got tagged by Family Didi! I ran her notifications. Raquel and her family are definitely, definitely very lovely. I love all of their vlogs. And um, her older daughter, Olivia, when they went to the Universal Studio and when she was doing the Hogwarts, the um, the wand, the magic, and she like her hair somehow she really looks like Hermione, which is one of my favorite movie star as a child. If you haven't seen her vlog, make sure you check her out and make sure you check that out. I'll put her link down below. And thank you for tagging me. It's truly an honor. All right, so let's get started. We have 15 questions. Okay, first question, what camera do you use? All right, so I have two cameras. One is my vlog camera, the other is my sit-down camera, which is what I'm filming right now. So this is my vlog camera. And you should be, if you're a YouTuber, you should be familiar with this camera. This is the Canon G7X and this is, has been recommended by a lot of vloggers because it has a flip screen and it's very very compact. Bought a little tripod so you can use a tripod. But by itself it's a very small and it's very easy to use when you uh, press on. See? You don't have like a camera, like a lens cover, so you have to screw on and screw down, which is very, very, very handy. And yeah, and then you just press record. There you have it. All right, so the other camera I'm using, I need to use this camera to shoot the other camera. The other camera that I'm using, this is the Canon EOS. Can you see it? If you look at right here. Okay, this is the other camera that I'm filming. And I also have a little microphone that I really, really love. It does make a difference for the sound quality. Yeah. Okay, this is the Canon EOS M50. And um, again, this camera is not that big either. And you can actually vlog with this camera if you want, but it's not as convenient. And yeah, you can see the mess over here that I haven't cleaned up after my film the letter video. Yeah, so in my everyday life, when I go out to vlog, I use this camera, um, the G7X, and the other one, I just use the Canon EOS M50. We actually own another camera, but my husband took it to the office. Um, he's an attorney, he's doing family law, and he wants to educate people about family law, about like how to divorce. <laughs> what is about child custody and things like that. So he has a educational channel about family law in Texas. If you're interested, I will link his link. I'll put his link down below. So if for if one of these days you need information about that, you can check it out. All right, so the second question, what editing system do you use? I know a lot of YouTubers use Adobe, um, some other YouTubers use Final Cuts Pro and I use iMovie! <laughs> it is free! So, because I'm not making any money off this channel at all, so I don't feel like I want to like invest a lot of money on the editing. I think iMovie does a great job itself, so yeah, we're not using it. So, but in the future, if I can monetize my channel if I can make some money then I'll be thinking about like investing on um, 
Final Cut Pro. It's I think it's two three hundred dollars, but it's one time fee. So I think it sounds like a good deal if you already start to making money on your channel. So, but right now I'm using iMovie. I'm happy with it. It has limited functions and it takes a lot of time to edit because of its limited functions. So to achieve the same results, you have to go through a series of steps instead of like having a very easy button to cut, to click. But it works for me. So so far, I'm content. The next question: Do you use artificial or natural lighting? Tada! Great question. I was just changing the lighting right here. I do use natural lighting, but in Texas, it's been raining and storming a lot, and it forced me to buy my first artificial light. But I don't have a good artificial light setup, so I do need to have some sort of natural lighting. And to me, I felt like no matter how good the artificial light is, it's never comparable to the real natural lighting. So I do film with both, and this is the artificial light that I use. And it came with two light bulb. One is white, the other is soft white, and it comes with a tripod. This is my little dog. This is my tea set and my feet. I usually just sit down right here on the ground, and I have one artificial light, and I also have natural lighting right here. If you can see, it's not great. It's pretty dark in this room because, well, it was sunny today, but for some reason, the the sun just disappeared, and the lighting somehow became very odd, and yeah. It forces me to use artificial light, but、um, in ideal world, I do want, I do like natural lighting. I think this room is really great in terms of the natural lighting. That's why I filmed this room. It used to be a guest bedroom, but I completely changed it to a studio. All right. Next question. The fourth question. Uh, what is the top item on your filming wish list in terms of equipment and plan? I think、um, for me, I do want to buy more light because right now I can only film during the day, and sometimes I miss it because of work. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I do have school. I do have to work. So yeah, I have a very crazy busy life. But I'm happy about it. So definitely, if I can monetize, if I can monetize my video, I'll buy more artificial light. I will set up the light like in a way that's really great, like a professional filming studio, and combined with the natural lighting, I think it will be great. It will increase my quality of my content. But so far, I think my wish list is two more lights. Like one ring light and one of these little light bulb like this. So one ring light, one umbrella light, and I do want to buy a editing software like Final Cut Pro. So these three items are my wish list. But I'm not really like in a hurry that I have to get them because I do enjoy the process and I don't think it's worth it for now to invest more money later if it if my channel does grow grow. I will do invest. The fifth question: What is your favorite day in the week to film?、Um, my favorite day of the week to film is Sunday and Monday because I do film in the morning and early afternoon, so I do need to be able to be available during the day. So usually on Sunday and Monday, I don't have anything planned usually during the day, so I can film in the morning and early afternoon, and I usually film in batches, like which means I film like three to five videos for the whole week, so that I can edit them during the week. And it depends on the lights. Direction is east, so usually in the morning the light actually came from the window in the morning from this room. And in the afternoon, when the sun goes to the west, there's no lighting. So from eight o'clock to three o'clock are okay for me to film. But after three, forget it. 
The sixth question: Do you plan your video? Yes, I do plan my video. Like I'll show you an example. So other than this YouTube channel that's more lifestyle, entertainment, happy, I do have another YouTube channel teaching Chinese language. If you're learning Chinese, if you're interested in learning a little language, I'll put the link down below. Um, you don't have to go visit it. I use it for um, my class that I volunteer to teach. So this is one of the lists that I made for my video. So um, this is the vocabulary list that I try to teach in that video. So I usually put the list right here with my phone and then later I don't forget it. And also I filmed a video about um, things that I learned from my grandpa and of course I made the list of things that I learned from my grandpa and then during the video I can pause or actually I don't pause I will just go number one blah 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 number two blah 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 number three blah 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 so that I don't have to think what's the next thing I learned from my grandpa I learned this from academic writing and before I start writing a academic paper, I always have to plan, plan the content, plan the structure, plan everything, and including the very little micro things. So I do love to plan my video. However, for my vlog video, I know a lot of YouTubers plan, and I know that I need to plan, but. I just don't have the time and I do love it that my vlogs are spontaneous recording everything of my life and I actually watch my own vlog a lot of times because like I think it's just great memory you know so I don't plan my vlogs but I do plan other videos seventh how long does it take to film an average video hmm it depends for my vlog I actually sometimes for one vlog video like it's a weekly vlog of course I film during the week throughout the week so it takes one week to film a video I guess but um, for a video like this that I'm like sitting down um, for a 20 minute video I usually film about one hour yes and I cut a lot of part out and you know when I speak English is not my first language sometimes I would like uh, uh, my tongue got tight and so I have to cut that part out again and sometimes I get really talkative like mumbling rumbling blah, 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 blah. and later when I actually watch my video what are you talking about you're like circling your, your thoughts are circular you're you don't have a point cut it out so I have to cut out a lot of things I said in the video so usually it takes about one hour sometimes even more to film a video that's 20 minutes all right I know not the not the most efficient next one how many hours do you spend editing in an average video I spend about two to four hours editing each video some videos are easier to edit some videos take a longer time uh, for my planner video because I need to voice over so that actually takes a lot of time so I think it's about three hours for vlogs because I have different clips that I need to put together and I think that one takes about four hours as well and also I want to edit music I want to look at the music but for sit down videos sometimes I just need to listen to what I said and cut up the part that's irrelevant or I'm just mumbling rumbling blah, 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 blah. so sometimes for videos that are like sitting down like this it's a little bit easier and faster all right the Sun just came back yes so yeah so one problem with filming with natural lighting is that the Sun just go on and off and they're like when it's cloudy forget it not complaining I love the Sun please stay with us ninth question favorite type of video to film I love to film vlogs and I also love makeup videos I also love planning videos 
Yes, those are the top three. And I do film cleaning videos and cooking videos, but it takes a lot of time to try to know where which angle to take. Like, where do you position the camera? And I don't think I do a great job. And I saw some of the constructive feedback, the comments that you gave me, which is very, very helpful in terms of like, oh, this part, you don't need it, it's too long. And sometimes I don't give people a good angle to watch like what's happening with like me cooking or me cleaning so those two are the top difficult videos to film but my favorite video to film is vlog makeup and planning yes three top three and I think with vlog filming vlog videos it actually pushes me to go out of the house more because I am doing my PhD and PhD student right now I am a dissertator which means I am working on my doctoral dissertation and I just stay in my little cave and do writing so um, doing this YouTube channel and doing vlog videos, it pushes me to go out, to have fun, to spend time with family and I think it's very important component of the life and I think it's definitely great for my mental health, it's great for my creative outlet and one time I ran into a small issue and I was really sad and down and was vending with my friend Vicky and she said you should be the happiest person in the world, you do yoga which is very zenning, very calm and you also do YouTube channel which is your creative outlet so you really don't have anything to complain like that's that's true so I do love my YouTube channel I do love to vlog because it definitely makes me happy and it definitely makes my life happier and it brings more stuff it pushes me to do more stuff all right rambling again next one um do people at your school or work know about your channel yes they do <laughs> when i started my youtube channel i uploaded to facebook and a lot of people at school they subscribed they watched it including my professors and i have a lot of friends um at the office and they also watch my youtube and they tell me what they like and sometimes they even request videos like they want to know how to make wontons and i will make a video about that and yeah one time my friend and who works in the office and uh, she she was she was telling me about my makeup video in front of my academic advisor, which is my boss. And then my 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 boss was like, "You have a YouTube channel. I saw it on Facebook. Facebook, what is it about?" And then uh, my friend said, "You should subscribe, support her." So my boss subscribed to my YouTube channel. And I was like, "You you don't have to. You you don't have to." But she's like. And she opened the YouTube um, app and she, I subscribed. I was like, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so it's my school, my work, everybody knows about my YouTube channel. And I talk about it all the time because I never thought that I would open a YouTube channel. I never, I never thought I would. Because I am a nerd. I'm a bookworm. I do watch a lot of YouTube. It's partially because... I stay at home during my academic writing all the time so I need to have something in the background and I usually just play other people's YouTube videos in the background listening to their their vlogs and things like that and it definitely enriched my life and later my husband boyfriend at the time fiance at the time said why don't you just open one and that's when I started yeah and everybody knows everybody knows i think some people may get tired of me talking about my youtube i'm sorry all right next one 
Oh, another thing is um, some of the uh, comments that I saw because I'm, I'm Chinese, my first language is Mandarin Chinese. And some of the comments said that why don't you do your vlog in Chinese? Why don't you do your YouTube videos in Chinese? It's your first language, it's kind of awkward that you're trying to push your second language, which is English in your vlog and your videos. And somebody commented that my English is weird because I'm not a native speaker. But um, I just think about, I just think about, every time I think about my friends, the English speakers who are supporting me after, like they always comment down the video, they always text me, hey, I saw your video, it's so great, I learned about this, I didn't know about this. I just think about their support, which pushes me to keep using English in my in my video because I know that my friends who do not speak Chinese are there to support me which really warms my heart. English is my second language but I'm very happy to use it and I'm very happy to use English in my videos. I'm really grateful for all of my friends who watch my channel. It really means the world to me. The next question, what is the process of thinking about a video idea? Mm, the process. I don't have a process. The ideas just came to me. Yeah, I I have a lot of ideas for my video and my biggest problem is time because I need to finish my dissertation, I need to finish my PhD, I need to uh, devote time grading students' papers, I need to devote time planning my lesson, I need to pay more attention about my regular job, I don't want to spend too much time on YouTube, although I do spend a lot of time, um, I work, <laughs> I work as soon as I get up and I work until 2 o'clock every evening, I work when I eat, I work when I do whatever, but that's great. I don't have a process, it's just the ideas just comes to me when I drive, when I take a shower, like every time I, every time I have some sort of like weekend time i just try to do video the ideas just keep coming to me the thing the problem is time so i don't have a process of thinking about video idea i have a hundred video ideas but i just don't have enough time to film it and i the uh, the biggest problem is also editing because i spend a lot of time editing my videos so yeah Okay, next question. Do you feel awkward filming in front of other people in public? Yes, I do. I do. Well, it also depends on the public. If you're going to the zoo, everybody is holding a camera. So if you're holding a camera, you're just one of them. People don't think you're odd. Versus when you go to the shopping mall, when you go to the restaurant, sometimes it becomes a little bit weird. And it also occurred to me that people in different cities actually have different opinions over filming. Because I live in San Antonio, sometimes when I film in the mall, um, like there was a jumbo juice, jumbo juice stand and I was not filming the staff I was just filming I was like zooming in I was only looking at the Jews when they squeeze the juice the action shots but then the manager came to me he's like um, stop the video erase it because I want to protect my staff I said okay I can do that but I just want to tell you your staff is not in it it's just an action shot I just showed him I, I will erase it it's okay but I just want to show you your I'm not like filming your staff, I'm just filming the, the fresh juice that when they squeeze the real fresh juice and shakes, I just want some of these shots. But that's okay. Um, but then when I went to Atlanta, I was using it to film the restaurant. I was very, I'm usually very cautious not to film people in, but sometimes they get in. It's not like I'm trying to film this person. And then I saw like the waiter, the host, they would go doing this. And like everywhere they're doing this. I'm like, okay. I thought they meant no filming, no filming. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then he said, no, I'm just waving to the camera. 
Yeah, and then it happens to a lot of places when I went to the restaurant, when, when I went to the skyline in、um, Pang's city market, and I was filming the, the whole area, and then the, the girl, she was like doing this. I'm like, oh, is it okay to film? She's like, I'm just waving at the camera. I want to be on the camera. So I think, yeah, if you go to more hip, if you go to more hip places where there are more millennials working, they're usually very open about like being on the camera and they want to be in the camera. They want to promote their business and it, they think it's fun. Versus if you go into a very conservative area, people are like, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I went to rodeo and、um, in the shops at the rodeo in San Antonio, they were like, no, erase that. No filming. I'm like, okay, I'm just promoting your, your shop. That's okay. So I will, I will erase if people ask me to stop filming or if people ask me to erase that. That's okay. So, Sometimes it becomes a little bit awkward when people they said erase this, do not post it, or else I'll sue you. It becomes awkward, yeah. But if I'm just going to a very hip area, everybody's like, hey, yeah, I don't feel awkward, I feel like super happy. All right, question number 13 Do you and your YouTube friends plan out filming videos together? Um, in my daily life, I don't have other YouTube friends living in the same area.、Um, sometimes I get jealous of people who live in bigger cities such as LA, Toronto, New York, where there are a lot of YouTubers that you can collab. So, yeah, I don't really go film videos with my other YouTube friends, but we do do like. Collaboration videos that you know we do the same topic, and you can check out my my video and check out their channel to see their video on the same topic. Yeah, we do do collaborations like that. But I would love to have YouTube friends who live in San Antonio that we can go film together. So if you live in San Antonio, contact me, comment down below. All right. Um, question number 14. What is your subscriber goal by the end of the year? My subscriber goal is to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time to be able to put on ads. <laughs> yeah. I don't have like a big goal that I want 1 million, I want 10,000. I just want to meet the criteria of putting on ads. Like, if you are a viewer, if you have. Problem with YouTubers monetizing their channel or selling stuff or having affiliated link.、Um, I haven't done any of those.、Uh, I'm just doing the content for the fun of it. But there's a lot of time contributing, devoting to this whole process. So please take a step back and be more supportive because after. I started my channel. I realized how hard, how much effort you have to take, how much time you have to devote in your YouTube videos. And I started to watch people's ads on purpose so that other YouTubers can, can get money. Especially Family DD. She's a, she's a mom and she has two children. So I want to support her. I want to bring her additional income.、Um, yeah. So, my goal is to be able to put on accents on my YouTube videos. YouTube, if you're watching. But regardless, this is my creative outlet. I do love the whole process and I do love my audience. I do love your comments. I think it, it's great for my mental health. So, but it would be great if I can get some side hustle money. Right, the last question Who do you tag to do this QA tag next? Ha ha ha. This is the fun part. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed、uh, my responses to all of the questions. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what camera do you use? Alright, so the first person I want to tag is 
Ta-da! I'll put her channel screenshot here. This is Marilyn Gutierrez Solis. Ta-da! You got tagged. T t t t t t. I'm looking forward to see your video. The next person I'm tagging is Tada Beauty by Blair. If you're watching, I'm tagging you right here. All right, I'm looking forward to your videos. Okay, so yeah, I did a collaboration video with Beauty by Blair, and she's very passionate, and she works really, really hard on her channel. I put their links down below. And the next one I want to tag is. Tada! Newton's law. Okay, you just got tagged. And the last one, I know I'm supposed to tag three, but I tagged four. Tada! Simple fashion by Johanna. We did two collaboration video on makeup. All right? Yeah, those are the four that I want to tag for the Q and A. I'm looking forward to your videos. Tada! And what's your favorite type of video to watch, or what's your favorite type of video to make? All right, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to this channel and ding ding ding, ring the bell for notifications for future videos. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.